Hi everyone, welcome to a new vlog. I was just having some lunch and it went from, maybe I'll take a picture and post this on Instagram stories. Still a little nervous on these stairs. <laughs> to maybe I'll just vlog today. Cause I'm kind of doing something interesting. I'm not stuck at home today. I'm going over to that Hema homeware store um, and it looks pretty sweet. It kind of looks like an Ikea to me. It's like inexpensive homeware stuff, just a bunch of everything. So I'm gonna head over there today. I thought it might be interesting to vlog, why not? And I've also spent the morning just kind of cleaning up the place. We're actually having a friend over for dinner tomorrow. So I've been doing some extra cleaning and moving some things around. I don't know, sometimes I just wake up and I'm like, I have to move that thing. <laughs> Are you that type of person too? I'm like, some days I'm just like, eh, they can just stay there. I don't know where I wanna put it. But then other days, it doesn't matter, matter if it's heavy or awkward or shouldn't be moved, like Ikea furniture shouldn't really be moved around too much because it just crumbles. But I just am determined and it must be moved. So I did that today, I moved a few things around. So I'll show you through the spare room where I've got so far. It's by no means done or the way it's going to stay at all. I might completely change it all around again. But the way I've got it now with what we have right now is the way it's gonna stay for a little while, I think. Who knows, I could wake up tomorrow and just flip the whole thing upside down again. <laughs> it's fun, I like doing it. I like changing things around, and f figuring out what works best. The hardest part with our two rooms upstairs is that it is kind of like a teepee shape, like triangle shaped room. So anything that's tall stands out in the room really far because the top of it hits the edge of the wall and then there's a big gap at the back of everything. So our wardrobe upstairs has probably like a two foot gap in the back of it and it feels, like wasted space, like decorating to me kind of feels like Tetris. You want to kind of get things perfectly in there and make the most of your space, get the most floor space, as well as making it look good. So um, it's a little frustrating that way. My OCD is like itching, <laughs> but I think I've got it a little better than it was before. So we'll go through that in a minute, but right now I'm having lunch. This is how it all started with lunch. <laughs> So I did my leftover rice last night. I made it basically into like a fried rice. I just wanted to add some vegetable into it. So I used some of the Indian sauce in it. Um, and then I put green beans and onions and garlic, red pepper, zucchini, the tandoori chicken we ordered, and then a giant salad because I haven't really been eating many greens and mostly just living on beer, wine, and takeaway food. So yeah, getting my greens in. I've kind of already destroyed it because I started to eat and then realized I wanted to vlog today. So I'm just gonna eat this up. I'm gonna get changed. I'll show you what I'm wearing for today because I quite like it. That's another question for you. Are, the type, are you the type of person that like hangs around in a towel for until you need to get dressed and, or a robe? Like I'm always in one of my two robes that I love. The other one's in a box somewhere in Amsterdam, but this is the one I've been wearing all the time. <laughs> or do you just like get dressed straight away? I like to be in a robe. It's a little awkward if anyone knocks on the door, but um, I just prefer it. <laughs> Anyways, eat. We'll go check out upstairs and then we'll head into town over to Hema and see what I pick up. Hopefully there'll be a little homeware haul at the end of this. Okay, lunch has been had. It was delicious. Didn't eat all the rice, being good, but I did have some of my cookie from last night. Um, yeah, let's take a look at what I've been moving around in here. I totally had tandoori sauce on my face. <laughs> okay. So first I'll pop in a few before photos right here. I took those this morning and it's not actually the true before. It was a little different when we first got here, but I just couldn't resist, like I said, moving a few things around. I didn't even think to take pictures. So it was similar. I think pretty much all the same furniture from the, the before photo that is here was in the room. Mm, I think so, yeah. So I'm kicking myself now for not taking photos beforehand, but you'll get the idea anyways. So this is the spare bedroom office area. So like I said, it does have the vaulted ceilings with the, the triangle kind of shape, which makes it a little bit awkward for decorating. The wardrobe was already in here, but as you can see from the back here, it's like right pushed right up against the beam here. And then we've ended up with this spare piece back here, which is a little bit frustrating, but we're definitely gonna use it for storage as you can see. And eventually that'll all be covered up. 
And then I moved this chest of drawers that was from our bedroom, actually. This is the piece that almost didn't make it over here. I had to drag it over here and I could just feel it starting to crumble as it made its way over. And then all the drawers were crooked by the time I made it over here. And I was like, oh God, I've really done it now. But I think I've kind of got Humpty Dumpty back together again. So I think it works quite well there because it's not tall. I can push it farther against the wall. And then we have this blank space here that I think will be perfect for um, like a coat rack kind of style. Same idea that we had in our French apartment. I really liked the way that looked. So I'm definitely going to keep it like clean and styled. Um, so it's kind of like a decor slash functional hanging space, um, which is what I did in my French apartment, our French apartment as well. So I think I can find something on Amazon or Ikea um, and it'll be kind of a smaller version rather than the full length um, racks. And I'm hoping I can get it kind of a triangle shaped version as well so that it'll sit a little closer out this way. I don't know if I'm making sense here, but um, the top of it or the clothing I think will probably hit this beam as well. So I want something that's kind of worked on an angle rather than straight along. Also because then it'll sit a little farther in and you'll be able to see more of whatever I do with this dresser here. So for example, if I take today's outfit and say my stuff is all hanging probably about here. When you walk into the room, all the clothing is going to be covering the decor that will be happening here eventually, if that makes sense. So what I might do, if that is the case, I might end up moving this dresser right up against the wardrobe and then putting the um, hanging rack next to that. We'll see. <laughs> That was very long-winded, but that's kind of the plan for this area. Not even sure this is going to stay in here. That might go back in the bedroom if it'll make it. <laughs> I definitely need two people to do it if I'm going to try to get it back over there. I prefer to have something more like a natural wood color rather than everything just being super, super white. But um, this is, has to go somewhere. It's definitely not going to make it downstairs. It has to go either in the bedroom or here. Maybe you could go in the hallway here. I don't know. I kind of like the exposed railing, so maybe not. For now, I like it here. <laughs> and I like that I can do like a little bit of a display decorative piece here. Made that kind of my girly stuff corner. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking at the moment for that spot. And I think that should give me enough space for hanging stuff and uh, everything else can be folded. And then we have a few other drawers that'll be in the bedroom and then we'll get something else similar to this, I think, for the bedroom to replace the one that I took from it. <laughs> and then on the other side, I moved the desk over here. I think I prefer it in this corner just because I don't really like the yellow color of that desk. So when you come up the stairs and you look into this room, you were seeing this um, yellow desk with like books and computers and you know all of Ken's work stuff on there all the time and I didn't really like that so now unless you're coming out of the washroom do you really see it definitely the flowers add a lot of help to the room I like the little hat the little um, nail for it was already there and I didn't have another spot to put my hat so I just stuck it there the lamp is also from the apartment I just stole it and put that there and I just kind of cleaned it up and made it a little more Streamline, a little less cluttered, a little bit of tidying goes a long way. This was actually the nightstand that was next to the day bed, which used to be under this window and then the little side table was next to it. I liked the way that was, but I just think it's a little more compact to have it under the desk. And then if I put it on the far end and have the chair on this side, then it kind of covers it up and again, gives it more of a streamlined look and a little more hidden, but without having to hide it away or tuck it somewhere and it still gives us a little extra bit of storage in here. So I definitely preferred having the daybed under this window here, um, centered underneath the window, but I mean, for now, I just don't see it working. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens with that. That could change, this could all change at some point, but right now, this is where we're at. I'm gonna be on the hunt for a black clothing rack um, but I think for the most part, I quite like the way it is. Once I get this all styled up, and I could even do something up here. There's a little bit of space, put some greenery or something. Yeah, it's coming along. So this is what I'm going to jump into now. And we're going to head over to Emma. So the outfit for today is this little polka dot dress I thrifted uh, years and years and years ago. It's originally from Forever 21. I've worn it time and time and time again. It's super comfortable, although a little bit tighter than the last time I wore it. So... 
I kind of go by how my clothes are fitting, so I know I gotta cool it on a few things. Glad I didn't eat all that rice now. Um, and then the utility jacket's also really old. I actually don't know where it's originally from. I wanna say American Eagle or something, but it was thrifted many, many years ago. I hardly ever wore this when we were back at home. It feels like a Canadian attire kind of thing, but I feel like I get a lot more use out of it here. I've worn it several times. Um, it also looks great wrapped around my waist if I get too warm. I don't think I will today, but um, it goes around the, around the waist quite nicely. And then just my little Tom slides that I'm normally wearing. And then I'm going to bring my big shopping tote, trying to not use any plastic bags. I feel like nobody uses plastic bags here, which is awesome. So trying to be one, be one with the Amsterdammers. Again, I have my list and I've just looked over it again and it looks pretty dang boring. So hopefully you guys aren't yawning watching this, but it has a lot of stuff like tape measures, a Swiffer, hangers, ice cube trays, adapters, uh, that kind of stuff. I'm also hoping I might find like throw blankets and pillows and whatnot. Where are my keys? But I have no idea what to expect really out of this place. We'll see what we find. <laughs> Hi ho, off we go. share those later too. Okay, back on track now. <laughs> back to where I was supposed to be. because my bag is full. Full of some good stuff I needed and some I did not. <laughs> I hadn't been to a Primark since we were in London, so I had to make a little stop in there. It was absolutely crazy, but I did find some good stuff, so it was worth it. <laughs> okay, back home with my exploding bag. <laughs> I'll show you what I got. I ended up going to H&M, shouldn't have been there. Although I, I went in looking for something specific and I did find something similar, so. It all worked out. And then I went to Hema, which was actually way smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Didn't really find much, got a few of the essentials, nothing too exciting. And then I went to a drugstore, found nothing there. And then I went to Primark. Oh, yeah, I told you that already. <laughs> and I found a few things I shouldn't have bought there and a few things that I think might work for the house. So overall it was a success, but um, bought way more than I thought I was going to. I'm just gonna go in the order of the bag. <laughs> Go into the bag. My Mary Poppin bag. Oh god. She's a little top heavy. <laughs> so I'm gonna try all this on, but I'm gonna do it in another day because Ken's on his way home. We're gonna go out and buy food for tomorrow's dinner and a bottle of wine because we're watching Bachelor tonight and I'm terrible at picking wine, so I'm waiting for him to get home. We're gonna walk over and grab something, but that's happening very soon, so I'm gonna try this all on another day. So if my hair and everything looks different in the trials, that's why. But the first thing I picked up was just this long sweater. I was thinking the other day that I don't have any of my just open like waterfall kind of simple cardigans that you just throw over everything if you're just like running out the door quickly, something to put on you. And I often use these for things to like cover my butt sometimes. Sometimes if I feel my, my butt's just on display, I put something long over top of it and um, just makes me feel a little more comfortable. I just happened to see this one in Primark. I think it was 16 euros. Yes. Got an extra small. Um, it's kind of like an oatmeal color, really simple, looked actually good over just this dress. It's kind of like the next step up from my robe that I wear all day long. If I feel like getting dressed, I could put this over top and still feel like I'm wearing a robe. <laughs> and then I picked up a few of these hooks. This was on my list. These were from Primark, 3 euros. I'm hoping I might be able to get one on my wardrobe here, but it might need some um, finessing because it's quite wide here and the wardrobe's only like maybe a centimeter thick but they'll definitely go over the doors in all the bedrooms and stuff so it'd be good for like the bathroom towels and whatnot and then I also grabbed a throw blanket from Primark 
not totally sold on it. This is the best one I found so far. Um, I kind of wanted a navy, well, something dark, preferably navy, for the downstairs room. We haven't picked a carpet there yet, so I'm not totally set that it's going to work, but I can return it, so just in case I change my mind, I'm gonna keep the receipt. Yeah, I'm just gonna lay it down there and just see how it looks in the room. Kind of going for like more of a cozy, lived in, homey vibe um, for this place rather than more like my last places were very like thrifted and vintage, mid century, um, a little more modern, grays, whites, um, pops of green everywhere. So this one's gonna be just a little bit more cozy. It's kind of centered around the couch. The couch just says like home and cozy to me. So I'm gonna throw this over that and hopefully that works out and I keep it. If not, I think it could end up in the bedroom or even in here. So I think either way I'll probably end up keeping it. And then the thing that I'm so glad that I went to Primark because I just happened to find these. I've been looking for a pair of these for some time now and either was not the right price point or they weren't going to fit right or the crotch was hanging down to my knees, so not that tall. But I just happened to stumble across these. They were the only ones there. They were on sale for 15 euros from 23. So, um, I mean, there are, Primark's already affordable. If you can find something on sale, it's super affordable. Denim dungarees jumpsuit style though so you don't really have to wear anything underneath it it covers everything it sits nicely at the waist here they have cute little squared off pockets and then they're kind of like ankle length not straight not flared but they just fit perfectly on the leg they're just a little bit oversized um, not like super tight or anything oh I couldn't even believe it when I slipped these on because I thought for sure they're gonna be too big on the hanger they looked a little bit too big <laughs> so when I put them on I was just like they just fit like a glove, um, and I couldn't believe they were actually on sale. They didn't say they were on sale until I got to cash register, so it was a very pleasant surprise. And they're like that perfect, just mid-tone blue. I feel like a real Amsterdam are in these, so um, they're like cool but casual. I could also wear them with like my Chanel bag or something, leather jacket on top. Super happy with those. Definitely did not need them, but they came home with me. And then for Hema, what I ended up picking there, <laughs> More stuff I didn't really need, some stuff I did. Oh yeah, I ended up getting two pairs of earrings. These I actually were on the hunt for, just some simple gold hoops because mine have kind of um, lost their color now. I'm basically only gonna wear this first set here though. <laughs> the other ones, these ones are definitely too big for me. These ones I might wear for like nights out or something, but probably very rare. And then they were all buy one, get one half off, so I grabbed these guys. Very different from what I normally pick, but I love the yellow. It's like a mustardy kind of yellow in the gold, so. I actually asked the lady when I got to the cash register, I was like, how much are they? Are they these ones on sale? And she was like, yep. And I was like, hmm, do I really need them? Probably not. And she was like, treat yourself. She starts wrapping them up for me. <laughs> so they came home. And then I bought a few of these little suckers. You can never have too many of these. There's a few of them in the house already, but they're on their way out. So replace those. I just happened to see them. Silicone ice cube trays. Ken, we had one of these in blue at home. It's come to a lot of places with us, but we actually meant to pack it and forgot. It's still at the freezer at home. So this was on sale for like $3.50, so I grabbed one of those. Love the yellow color too. They're so good for drinks like gin and tonics. You just need a giant ice cube and it stays perfectly cold for a very long time without watering it down. These are the little shapewear things I was looking for. I always, pretty much always wear some sort of little short underneath my skirts. Just makes me feel more comfortable. You know what breeze gets you. Um, you don't want to be showing the world what you got going on in there. So the ones I usually wear are like a really paper thin cotton from H&M. But I've had them for so many years. They're on their last leg. So I figured I would just grab something like this. I've actually found a pair that I really liked at H&M. So I can try to link those ones down below. But they didn't have the right size and the right color that I wanted. So I grabbed these from Hema. And I think they were 14 or 15 euros. Something like that. So... Not exactly cheap, um, and they are quite thin, but um, they'll do the trick. Got myself a can opener. I bought a can of tuna the other day, and I haven't been able to eat it because we didn't have a can opener. And just a simple notepad, because we all know I like to make lists now. What's this? I should have told her not to wrap in paper. Don't eat the paper. Uh, a pair of scissors, because there aren't any here, and you just... You never realize how often you use scissors until you don't have any. Oh, and I got some new little sleep shorts. These ones are on clearance. Just simple little sleep shorts. There were two for eight euros, so very simple. I got them in a size medium, so they're a little oversized. Who wants to wear skin-tight pajamas? 
when they go to bed, not me. And then the last thing I got from H&M was definitely something I didn't need, but I couldn't leave it behind. I couldn't set it free, as they say. It's a linen blazer. It's all wrinkled up now because it was one of the first things I bought and was squished at the bottom of the bag. And I just thought it was so pretty. It's going to look great over my new denim jumpsuit, too. And it fit like like a glove so I think I'm kind of just missing my bl other blazers they're all in my boxes my green one um, I have a white one I think I only have my beige one here I have a handful of them that I like to rotate through that work really well over a ton of outfits but this one just had a really cool laid-back um, easy breezy kind of feel to it got a little overly excited with the clothing things and I didn't even buy any hangers to put any of this on I've run out of hangers so I think I'm gonna make an Amazon order soon I've kind of just been slowly building orders on different websites for things. Every time I think of something, I'm like, oh yeah, gotta, gotta get one of those. So I added to my Amazon cart, but I haven't actually purchased any of it yet because I keep thinking of more things that I need. So that's all I got. Actually, not much for this room other, li other than the little hooks, but we are going to be, I'm going to be looking for a carpet in here as well, I think. I don't know. We'll see how the, how the rooms morph over time. I'm going to go throw this blanket downstairs in the living room to see how this works. I'm kind of excited to see if I love it or hate it. I think it's going to be one of those things where I'm just like, oh, that's terrible. Or, ooh, yeah, I like. So I think I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. I'm basically just going to be playing with all my new goodies, drinking some wine, watching The Bachelorette. I sure hope that that weirdo Lucas is gone by now because... Dumb as a door now if she's keeping him around this long. Ooh, I keep getting, I'm convinced that like every week that she gets to keep him, she gets like a 15 or 20 grand bonus or something like that. Like she can't actually want to marry this man. That's what I think anyways. So I hope you enjoyed getting to see a little bit of what I'm doing behind the scenes here with the rooms and everything. There's definitely going to be lots more of that happening. Um, I'm going to be doing hopefully lots on the room and the living room is going to take a whole new transformation over time and we'll just kind of share it as we go along so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of those it's gonna be fun and make sure you give this video a like and i'd love if you shared it that's how it kind of gets out into the world and then i know that you liked the video and you enjoyed it you like the content i'm putting out there and that you want to share it with your friends it would be very helpful so i think that's it and i'll see you in the next one bye already putting my new scissors to good use